So what's, been, what's going on? We planted these three plants around four years ago and we've tried everything to sort of revive them, so to speak. This one seems to be going okay, but the other two just don't seem to be growing very well. Look at all this sunburn. Actually, tip burn like this is a sign of unhappy soil. Don't like that root there. And Anthony tells me the fence posts were concreted into the soil close to the plants. But the first thing I'm going to do, find out what the pH of the soil is. Using a pH kit, I can tell if it's alkaline, neutral or acidic. You'd think it would be the same this close together. So our really healthy plant is sitting on around about six and a half, seven, which is neutral, which is perfect. But our sick looking plant, goodness, look at that. It's sitting around about nine, which is very alkaline. And that is certainly part of the problem with our sick magnolia. Now let's take a look underground. This is pretty drastic, but it is really the only way we're going to find out what's going on, especially with that root over the back there. The two main roots, this one on this side has gone right in underneath the plant, hit the concrete and then done a right hand turn. But you know, the problem started way back when the plant was taken as a cutting. See this root here? It's gone across the top and then right in underneath the pot. Then it's done another right angle. It's completely root bound. It's actually strangling itself. With a root system like that, we can't fix this tree, but we'll need to replace it. Okay, let's give them a nice advanced replacement tree, but let's check the roots first. Always a good idea to tickle the roots around. Stops all of that girdling that could be happening. A beautiful plant, ready to go on the ground. Right throughout the year, I make up on all of our magnolias, deciduous and evergreen, our magic mulch. It's my family's formula. So to this good soil, I'm going to add it to some cow manure and then a little sprinkle of potash, some blood and bone, Also, a little bit of gypsum. That won't change the pH, but it will sweeten up the soil. And then finally, because there is a pH problem here, I'm going to add just a little touch of sulphur. Just sprinkle that through, you don't need a lot. Backfill around the plant and leave a nice little depression around the top. That catches all the water and centralises all the nutrients down into the roots. Now this one at the end, we'll do the same thing with our little mound here and catch all that water and send all those nutrients down to the roots where the plant wants it. Aha! Graham, there you go. Okay, now it wasn't so much the pH, even though there was a difference between the two. Basically, 90% of the problem was when you planted it, it was already root bound. See if you can smell the perfume in that white flower for me. What does it smell like? Lemon. Yes, it smells like lemon. You've got three beautiful buds there right at your height. I think it's got your name on it. Wait a minute. Good girl, well done. You enjoy those beautiful magnolias.